I didn't tell you because I know that you always worry about money. Oh, and now I'm supposed to trust you to let me know how we're doing? We're going to be okay. We're doing it again. The Brian Roberts avoidance and denial merry-go-round, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, spare me. I get enough of that from the marriage counselor. Oh, that is rich. You get enough of that from the marriage counselor. Please, Brian. I have to drag you to be a screen. Again? Brian, that's the third time this week, and the second time I'll have to skip the gym. Don't. Please, just don't. It's not my fault, Jenny. If Doug would have told me yesterday I'd have to edit all this copy by end of day today, I'd be home now. You think I enjoy staying late? It's hard to tell anymore. Jenny? Hey, Brian, man, uh, you're gonna make deadline, right? Hey, Doug, uh, yep, like I always do. What this textbook really needs No is time little... for details. Just make sure it goes out tonight. gonna fix my bike. We were supposed to ride our bikes tonight. I know, Sufi Fufi, but Daddy has to work late tonight, again. And you need to pack for Nana's. But Mommy, we were supposed to ride Right our... now, Sophie, come on. Most grown-ups try to keep their promises, you know. It's just that things don't always work out the way we want them to. Nana, is breaking a promise like telling a lie? Aren't you always supposed to tell the truth? Well, now, Sophie, that's a funny thing about grown-ups. Most of us don't understand the truth, especially about ourselves. We're scared of it. That's silly. I think I should introduce you to an old friend of mine. Sophie? Meet Mr. Feathers. Uh, it's like he's lo looking at me. <laughs> That's because he sees the truth. This little guy, he never lies. If you know how to listen to him. He used to be your mama's when she was a little girl. But she wasn't a good listener like you are. She never trusted Mr. Feathers. If you want a good dose of the truth, all you gotta do is listen to Mr. Feathers. But listen with this. In here. <laughs> I fed the chickens and brushed down the horses. You did, that sounds like fun. And let's see. Nana gave you one of my old toys. I'd forgotten about that guy. Nana told me the secret. Mr. Feathers tells me things. He does? Wow. And when he sings, a falling star shoots through the sky. <laughs> Shooting star, Mom? Really? I know things are tense between you and Brian. The girl, she needs something to believe in. Well, that's great, Ma. Teach her to trust a magical finger puppet? Hey, I'm only trying to help. Or do I need to be some 
licensed marriage counselor to help my daughter be happy. You really want to help? Try being a little less judgmental. Come on, Sophie. I'll see you next week. Love you too, Jenny girl. Mommy, why does Nana never talk about Grandpa? Well, Grandpa left a long time ago. She doesn't like to think about those days. It makes her sad. Mr. Feathers wants to know why you, why you blame yourself about Grandpa. Why? What? Why would you think it's your fault? Did Nana actually say something to you about my, about Grandpa? Mm-mm. Let's go. Great work. Let me show you something. I want to make sure you stretch for at least 15 seconds. Otherwise, you might pull something. I've seen it happen. It hurts like hell. Okay, let's do some floor work. How's that on your hamstring? It's not too tight? Oh, <laughs> let's get you doing some crunches. I think uh, that should fix it. Yep. Finally. Can we go for a bike ride now, Daddy? Definitely. <laughs> you go grab your helmet and I'll get my bike. Oh, now where'd that come from? Daddy, Mr. Feathers wants to know why you stop writing your stories. Wait, what? When did we talk about this? You mean those children's stories I used to write? The ones you never showed anybody? Why'd you give up? <laughs> well, honey, they were... I wasn't good enough. But maybe you were. So, anything cool happened in school today, Sophie? Uh, let me think. Nope. I don't think so. No, but music class was fun. Mr. Feathers likes the music I play. It's funny how you like Mr. Feathers so much. I never could figure out why Mom thought that thing was so special. She never did learn how to let go. We all need our escapes. What's that supposed to mean? Your dad and Nana's little busybody puppet here. I think obsessing over your personal trainer qualifies. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought we committed to dealing with our problems honestly, like adults. Or does that not apply to underachievers terrified of success? How can I deal with anything when you don't trust me? And why should I, Brian? It's like you're afraid of being happy. And what makes you happy, huh? Make-believe intimacy? Oh. So now you're turning my honest confessions into weapons? What is wrong with you? Why did you marry me, Jenny? Why won't you listen? Mr. Feathers has got something to say. Mommy, all you have to do is listen. Let me show you. Nana said you never trusted Mr. Feathers. Don't you want to hear? Why can't I be my trusted trust? My father chose to live together. together. I love her. I love her. Now you try, Daddy. Daddy, you haven't been listening to Mr. Feather.
Why don't I believe in myself? Why don't I believe in myself? I'm good enough. I love Jenny. I deserve it. I don't want Jenny to My stories are not Finish up your dinner, Sophie. More chewing. Less talking. Brian, man, I'm starting my vacation on Friday, so I'm sending you the revised chapter from the Whitley textbook. I need you to stay late and get those final edits to Lorraine tonight. Not tomorrow morning. Thanks, Brian. No, 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 no. Wait. First, Doug. You're gonna read this. Proposal for a new product line. What? And after you've read it, you're gonna share it with Dawson because I'm the guy who deserves to be the new creative director. Tonight, you read Daddy's book by yourself. Okay, Sufi Foofy? Um, sure. Okay. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, baby. Good night, Sufi. Oh, and uh, sweet dreams to you too, Mr. Feathers. So, can I have your autograph, Mr. Roberts? You big shot author, you. <laughs> Why, sure, pretty lady. And. Where would you like me to sign? Oh, well, you're the creative director. Be creative. <laughs> <laughs>